We are in Boone, Iowa. I'm starting it with a train because there are many trains in Boone, Iowa. They have a big switch yard here. They also have the big sight to see tourist thing is a train museum and for $22 it gets you a ticket to the museum and then you can ride on a train that takes you out a certain distance and then back but it goes over a big high trestle. Another thing to see in Boone is the High Trestle Trail Bridge. The High Trestle Trail Bridge used to be a railroad trestle and then the railroad had to change it to concrete pillar trestle but then it's been turned into a trail now and it's 13 stories high half a mile long. It takes about a mile or so to walk to get to it and then it's half a mile long itself. It was a bit of a walk, but a good trail. Okay, we are at the campground for Boone County Fairgrounds. When you go on GPS, on the Google Maps, this is where it brings you. Actually, it may bring you just a little past it to a, a gate that's closed. So, you come in here, and I was arriving late at night, so this was fairly confusing. I missed my turn completely and had to turn around. So when you see these buildings, yep, that's where you're going. In here. Or you could have just turned at the turn before, but that's not where Google takes you. At least not for me. So you have to go past these buildings and come out over here where the actual campground is. This is all the Boone County Fairgrounds. So if you can find this road the first place, then it's a little easier. But we're going to go over here to Boone County Fairground Campground. They have water there for you to fill up. It says only campfires are in their provided rings. Okay, this is I camped. In elect with electric only, so it was sixteen dollars. Uh, Twenty dollars, I believe it is, for electric and water, and then a little bit more for a full hookup. The problem with their electric only sites, they're only in grass. So I tried to find the one that was least likely to get stuck, and I didn't get stuck, but I was afraid some of these are pretty muddy. Uh, here is where you check in. They have bathrooms, they said with showers, but I didn't go inside to check them. And it was fairly quiet, except you could definitely hear the trains. They weren't obnoxiously loud, but they were there. Here is the sewer dump and dumpster. Oh, and you can also camp without facilities, without utilities, for $10 for the night. Uh, these people were there and this is your full hookup there's lots of pull throughs and there's space where you can have four people together there's four people at each of these big pull through areas so as you can see there's not really there's a gaga ball pit whatever that is we just passed that that's some game the kids play So these are camping spots for people, each of these. You can tell this is made for the fair just to get people here and let them stay here. Nothing fancy, nothing fantastic. That's your hookups for four people. No trees really. But $16 is not too bad. They also have weekly of $90 and they have a monthly, I can't remember the price they said for monthly, but those are options that make it a little cheaper. Uh, I teach with VIP Kid, which means I have to have a good uh, hotspot on my phone to do that, and I was able to do that fine here. So Verizon gets very good service, both cellular and with their hotspot. 
there are areas in Boone where I seem to not get a signal, so you have to, it's a sometimes yes, sometimes no, but this spot seems to be good. Um, so that's, this is the Boone County Fairground Campground in Boone, Iowa. And it says that you need to reserve, a bunch of the sites are reserve only. Um, I didn't reserve because it's October, so of course there are lots of sites available, but it sounds like they may get busy during the summer and you might want to go and reserve ahead of time. Please subscribe to our channel and like, and we love to hear your comments about this and other uh, videos. Thank you. Bye.